Hey girls and guys, it's Presley. So today in this video, I'm going to be talking about one of my therapy sessions that happened over last week. So my therapist and I were watching one of my videos about the weird things that I do, and she noticed one of the certain topics that I was talking about in that specific video about me not having a filter, being honest, and sometimes being brutally honest where I can hurt someone's feelings without even realizing it. And she said that's impulsivity, you know, me being impulsive, me and being upfront and honest and, you know, being straightforward with them to the point. And we were focusing on how to, how to deal with that certain issue. And she told me that we're focusing on having me having a filter. You know, she told me to keep things 50-50 even with each other, split it down the middle. So I can still be truthful and honest, but I need to be very careful on how I express the truth because sometimes what I say can just, you know, hurt somebody's feelings by accident. And I, don't, I have no intention of hurting anyone's feelings. So I have a little issue of, um, um, you know, that little thing of think before you speak. I'm the opposite. I've said this before, I'm sure. But she wants me to think before I speak because sometimes my mind can go blank. So if anyone asks me a question and I have to express my opinion, I have to think about it. You know, if someone asks me about what they're wearing and stuff and asks me about their opinion, I need to be very careful because if I say the wrong thing, I could hurt their feelings. So if I say no, then they could get their feelings hurt. But if I say yes, but if I say yes, but in my mind, I want to say no, I just got to say, that's okay. But when, I, when my therapist told me this, it kind of made me wonder if I tell people that that outfit is okay and my mind wants to say no so bad, it feels like I'm lying to that person. And I don't like lying at all. But at the same time, I don't want to express the truth to where it could hurt someone's feelings. Lying is bad. But telling the truth can also be bad. So there's a reason why I need to split things down the middle, 50-50. I have to, you know, choose my words carefully as what they say. I can be honest and have no filter and, you know, express myself. It just depends how I use it. It's like using a power and not knowing how to use that power can make that power go crazy. You know, Uncle Ben in the Spider-Man universe said, with great power comes great responsibility. And I need to use my honesty as a responsibility on, you know, being careful how to use it and control it, wield it correctly. And I am very thankful for my therapist helping me out with that. I'm still trying to control my honesty and, you know, trying to make sure I have a filter and thinking before I speak. But over time, I'll get better at it. And I'm so glad that my therapist helped me out with that. And I'm so excited to see her again next month for our next session. And as time progresses, I'll get better. I'll become a better person than I once was before. A shy, antisocial, honest person to an upbeat, happy, extrovert, still honest person and very kind and caring. I hope I can become that person, you know, be out there and, you know, meet new people and try to be social. Because back then I used to be very shy and antisocial. But now I'm becoming a way better person than I once was before. And I'm so happy that I've progressed over the past several months. And I'm so happy about that. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.